Ben is in about an hour from now, and we are going commercial free, starting at 10 all the way until 3 o'clock this afternoon. That is something to look forward to. Van Halen on the way first, the Stone Temple Pilots on WCLX. in the woods today in a very uh, um, creepy place uh, the road that's near the forest I'm in right now has a long history of tragedy the 20 years that I know about there's been a couple of people hit by the high, high speed rail that runs parallel to it um, there's been suicides deaths and car crashes um, and a guy killed his family. And that's just within like a mile drive. Um, the forest I'm in, which is right next to that mile drive, there's King Philip's Rock, uh, King Philip's Cave, trails everywhere, and Indian burial, burial grounds, mounds. Um, I found my oldest coin out here, which is a 1587 King George uh, Lodge scent. I've been out here many times. There was a 1700s uh, mill right at the edge of the forest here. This area has a lot of history. Um, in recent times, a lot of ill-fated history. Two, two, two and a half miles from here, in the 70s, a police officer went fishing at a pond by a farm, and out in the woods, there's another pond that not many people know about. I know about it because, you know, I check everything out. And it's an extremely creepy pond. It's black, and there's only one trail going to it, one trail back out, very dark in there. And in the 70s, this police officer reported seeing a Bigfoot. Um, I'm not in the Bermuda Triangle right now, but I'm very close to it. New England itself is very um, creepy, has a lot of um, negativity, a lot of bad vibes. The swamplands, uh, like Hockamock, uh, Hockamock Swamp, in Native American language, um, can't think of exactly what they called it now, but it was something to the effect of the Devil's Swamp, uh, something like that. I have to do some history searching on that. I, I, I just can't recall. Um, but yeah, this spot of forest here is in between two towns, and it's very creepy. I wouldn't mind coming out here at night sometime and doing a uh, little investigation or something, but I prefer looking for relics. I don't prefer to stir things up that shouldn't be messed with. Um, 
But today I'm just out here exploring. I was supposed to go to New Bedford today to explore an old fort, but I had a weird gut feeling that that was a bad idea. So at the drop of a hat, I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna take a quick little hike out here and check it out. So we'll see if I find anything. If I don't, it's gonna be a good time anyway. All right. So out in the very middle of this place, there is a hole, which I'm guessing was a privy, but I don't think a whole lot get carried out here to find bottles and such. I think it was the workers from the mill that had, I don't know if they were logging out here, what they were doing, but come to the woods just off that privy the other side of the trail. And I don't know if this is a corral or a foundation. I want to say it's a foundation because it's so small. Um, it's very interesting nonetheless. And also I don't think it's a foundation, I mean a corral, because the stones around it, if an animal were to walk through those stones, it'd break their leg. So it just doesn't add up. I'm guessing it's a foundation. Just a base to work out of a shed to get out of the rain or the cold or something. Um, and so far what I've found is an old washer, probably from an old cart, a mule shoe, which I found several of those out here before, a piece of chain, very, very old. It's, just corroded to itself. It looks like this is a old piece of a toy car. Or maybe it's a frame to a cart. Piece of a trim to a cart. I don't know what that is. And a modern dime. 1970. Um, just people come out here and go hunting. So going to find modern things. People come out here and they dirt bike and quad and such. So all right, we'll keep on going. All right, just a quick little hike today. I think I'm just going to head back to the truck. It's not much to find out here, but when you find something, it can be really, really friggin' cool. Um, and there are a lot of nails out here. Um, yeah, we'll see if I find anything on the way back to the truck. I almost went right past it. Um, this is what I believe to be Native American burial ground or a grave site of some sort. Absolutely, it's a grave site in the middle of the forest. We have, it's about 10 feet long. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera. It's about 10 feet long. It has like a, a sunkenness in the middle, probably six feet wide, rocks around the one side of it, the one end of it, and um, I know this isn't going to show up well on the camera, but to see it in person, you know it's absolutely a burial site. So we'll just pay some respects and move along. All right, had a good time. Um, found a couple of nails on the way out, some ghost targets. The nails are 1700s, you can tell, absolutely 1700s because they're so, they're square hand forged nails, but the heads on them are like huge and square. Um, that's even prior to 1800s, I'm sure of it. And a couple of rivets that went to a cart of some sort. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that out there. You can find nails till pff, hell freezes over because that was such a hopping area of woods in the 1700s when the mill was going on. I don't know if it's because they kept animals out there. There's a lot of stone walls. And, um, and there's... Uh, I just think those trails are heavily used. I have found musket balls out there as well. But anyway, I hope you uh, had fun listening, watching... Um, learning 
and um, like, subscribe, stalk, ignore, share, whatever you want to do, because I'm not going to stop doing what I do, so, <laughs> anyway, have a good day.